Hello everybody, it is me, Luxemi Game, and I am back with another video, so today, uh, I'm here with my, uh, 2021 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, wrapped in pur in, uh, purple, with, uh, the bronze, like, cool, like, bespoke rims. Uh, that's all that's done to it. It does have the gas uh, V6 in it, automatic, 8 speed. Um, first ever car when I moved here to Greenville, or truck I should say, but it's my first vehicle I bought when I moved here. Uh, so, bought it for around 45 grand. Uh, standard Rubicon accessories. So, a bunch of off-roading stuff. I haven't really done the off-roading that I wanted to do with it. I mean, sure, I've done some. But, like, not as much as I've wanted to. Um, it's getting a little bit dark. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a sad day. I mean, but it's still a good day anyways. Because of what I'm getting instead of it. Um, yeah, the lights are absolutely gorgeous. Um, do wish, though, that this, um, like, IRL... Oh, wait. I'm switch it to... Um, that, like, when you put on your turn signal, uh, this DRL shut off, like, IRL. But doesn't really matter because I'm selling it today. Um, kind of a very sad day. I've always liked the Gladiators. I might buy another one eventually. But I've had it for almost a year now. I bought it back in October of last year. Um, so, I well, no. I've only had it for, I think, eight months. Or maybe like nine, but you know, regardless, it's just time that I move on. I've had, you know, sure, this is a mid sized truck, and you know, it'd be nice to have a mid sized good on gas truck, but at the same time, why would I even use a truck if I wanted good gas mileage? That's kind of the point. But really, this is made for off-roading, not a pavement princess. So, hoping the next owner um, is that way. So now I'm going to start up for the last time. I'm going to have to get down. I'm to have to Okay, here, uh, I guess we can do, like, one, I don't think I'm gonna go full on off-roading, but I think I am gonna head over to, um, to get to Greenville Lake. Oh my, jeez, people, 18 up the hill. I also don't really want to get it dirty or, you know, fall off a cliff. Can that. So beautiful. Oh no! Come on. You know what? So after like 2,000 hours, I'm finally um, heading down. Uh, okay, here we are. Um, this thing's probably gonna be unwrapped. Um, I was told to pull it into the body shop, and since my new truck is already um, already um. I'm just gonna 
pull this in and then go find it. Let me just. Ah. Guess I'm gonna go inside and talk to the employees real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, are you ready to see this? In three, two, one. Um, now that I was over with, here it is, it's a 2003 Chevrolet Silverado SS. Oh my god! Okay, um, let me just give a quick little rev. Man, that's 6 liter. LS2, let's go for it. Yeah, it does have a spoiler. <sighs> kind of scared because I want to get stopped because I've been pulled over for going like 90! Oh my gosh! It's fast, but like, it doesn't feel that. Oh my gosh, that's 60. Okay, zero to 60. Three, two, one. One, two, three, around three seconds. Yeah, so it does have a four speed auto. Man, this thing is so. What do you want to go? Okay, that's enough. That's enough, though. Um. Messing around, uh, I'm kind of scared of, of um, OGBRP. Uh, there's still this truck. Um, can't actually clean the house, so the house is gone. Um, 2003 Chevrolet Silverado SS, obviously 1500. I love how quiet it is just cruising. This truck idles like it's canned along with the startup. But then, you're cruising at 2500 RPMs and you don't even hear it. Like, this truck is insane. And I'm going. Oh my gosh. Second gear and it hits 60. And this is a 4 speed, so. This SEMA truck that I sold a while ago. That I actually sold differently on, um, Bring a Trailer for like, I think. Maybe 80k? Or maybe like 85? Um... The same truck I actually ended up selling on Bring a Trailer on my farm truck I traded. Uh... So... Yeah, I didn't have an extended cab for kind of a while. But... But this was nice that it was an extended. Woo! Another F-250 Tremor! I've been seeing kind of a lot more of these. They look so sick. It's like what mine looked like at the start of them. Nope. You are not cutting me. I'm just leaving space. Like I said, I have driven an 06 version, but, you know, I wanted an 03. Or no, this was all the only one I could find. I declined the offer back then, that was only a test drive though. Yeah, I've driven so many cars that I didn't end up buying. I was just driving a 2.2 Kia Telluride. It was actually a base model. Yeah. Whatever they're based! Ooh, 240Z! That's nice! Actually, I saw earlier, I just didn't point it out. So now I'm just acting, you know, that was a fake reaction. I'm actually in storage right now. I might take that out soon. I don't know, it's just been kind of sitting there. Um, I think I gotta get that out. Um, clean it off. You now get it back to, um, 
how it was back in 1972, even though that thing's mint condition. So. Ooh, 350Z Nismo. Nice. I should take my Nismo out here. No, that's actually in my garage right now. Here we go. And go. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so... It can be better. Okay, let's whip it around the corner. Okay, so I'm actually going to be doing a 50 mile an hour turn test. Okay, that was more than 50. Okay, I'm going to be doing a... F I'm going to set my cruise to 50. We're going to make this turn. Oh, with ease. Okay, well, we're, we're going to try 60. Going for the 60. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Ah, oh, I popped a tire. <sighs> Leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, thanks for watching.